<laughs> let's get to uh, start and okay. see what our viewers want to know. Number one, people are saying we are almost out of this, but it's been 18 months. How much progress have we made in the fight against COVID compared to this time well, last year? Well, the latter part of that question is easier to address um, because obviously people are still dying of COVID, not just here, but around the world. So to say we're almost out of it, I'm not sure that mm. that's accurate, but how much progress? Massive amount across the board. Think back when you could not g actually get a test so easily. So we've made huge advances in testing, surveillance screening, over-the-counter testing, diagnosis, turnaround time, treatments. Um, we're just hearing news of a pill that may may be available by the end of this year for people at home. Vaccination, clinical management of patients severely ill with COVID-19 in the hospital. So. We've made a lot of progress, but there is always room for more improvement, that's for sure. All right, another question here, non-COVID related, but what vitamins should people be taking every day? It's kind oh, of a wide ranging I, oh, question. Yeah. You're gonna get the expensive uh, key uh, answer? <laughs> yes, uh. well, we, we <laughs> will get the expensive urine answer. However, um, look, this is a, a situation that I have evolved on since I graduated from medical school 21 years ago. Um, I used to think that if you ate well and you didn't have any chronic medical conditions that you didn't need vitamins now because I actually screen some of my patients for vitamin deficiencies. I see that a lot of people have certain vitamin deficiencies for a variety of reasons. The big categories, pregnant women, women who want to become pregnant, anyone with a compromised immune system or a diagnosed vitamin deficiency, or someone who's had gastric bypass or bariatric weight loss surgery, those people for sure need vitamins. Anyone else, Proceed with caution because the data is a little mixed and yes, it gives you expensive urine because most of it is metabolized by our kidneys and it comes out you know where. I love how you use the medical term and I just <laughs> said what I said. Hold your term. <laughs> All right, you can submit yeah. questions oh, wow. to Dr. Jen on Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.